What's up guys, welcome back to another episode on the Truck Master channel. Thanks again for watching these videos. I'm really excited to get this out to you. I'm actually really excited to do this video. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to, I don't wanna show you how to powder coat because I have no clue what I'm doing. I just watched a YouTube video from Ryan Mayer. Big shout out to him, he did a great job. He did it in his house with his kitchen stove and it got me the idea of doing it here in the garage because, you know, of course, this is a lot easier and a little safer. I purchased a Harbor Freight powder coating system. I'm hoping this will work out. I'm not trying to be no professional or anything like that. It was under 100 bucks, and I also picked up this right here from Facebook Marketplace. It's just an old stove. It works. I tried it out. Everything works fine. I have the 220 outlet that will work just fine for it. It will always be unplugged but it does look a little junky in my garage, but it's okay. If you think about it with the air compressor, of course the powder coating system that we have, the stove, and then, you know, it looks a little janky, but this is actually a crate that Miller Engines built me for the Cummins motor when it came in here for shipping, and now I'm using it for a powder coating little booth so we can keep everything together. So I thought that's pretty fitting, and it makes it a really good table. So guys, make sure you stay tuned and watch till the very end because we are going to powder coat this compressor housing. This turbo we are installing in the LMM, which I'm so excited about. As you can see it's upside down, but this is a Rhines Diesel Service 64 millimeter turbo. And this thing right here is going to put out some horsepower. I'm not expecting to hit like 800 horse or anything, but I would like to hit at least 600. I think that would be pretty doable. I want you to stay tuned because we have the HSP goodies. They're coming in. I'm just waiting on a few more things, but we'll have everything here. I'm going to unbox it. I'll have the wife help me out too. We're going to go ahead and lay everything out and show you guys what colors, we, and I mean colors. I'm not talking, we just went red. We are actually going to be doing all kinds of different colors and it's going to look really sweet. And one more thing guys, if you missed out, these are the rims that we are putting on the Duramax as well. I asked you guys in the comments, should we put them on this truck or should we put them on the dumpster Cummins? If we're going to make this thing sort of a fully functional dump truck and whatnot, we might as well go ahead and just put some, I'm thinking black wheels, but we're not too sure. But guys, these are going on the Duramax. It's going to look awesome. These are Vision Silvers, negative 51 offsets. I purchased them from the custom offset website. They have a ton of stuff. I think they're the only ones that have anything in stock nowadays. But if you guys purchase any wheels and you click that drop down where it talks about who sent you, click Truck Master because it does give me a few points when I'm purchasing wheels. It gives me a huge discount, so it really helps the channel a lot. Don't laugh at me, guys. We're gonna figure this one out together here on this video. Wanted to show this to you guys. I have a ton of these left, okay? This is from the Daytona truck meet that we did this year, and these are awesome. It has a picture of old red on it, and these are very exclusive, guys. So. I'll leave a link in the description. If you want to buy one of these t-shirts, Boost Auto Parts made these shirts. They look amazing. Diesel crate and truck pack stuff. So I usually, in my orders, I like to throw something. Usually if you buy a t-shirt, I like to throw just something that we have in here. I'll just throw it right in your order. So here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this cover off. Now, I'm thinking about doing a before and after test with the stock Garrett Turbo that's in the Duramax right now and compare it to the Ryan's Diesel Service 64 millimeter turbo. If you decide that you want to purchase a modified turbo for your truck or just something that's going to give you a little more power, I would go with a 64 millimeter, not a 68. Uh, 68s are good. I think a 64 millimeter is the best for drivability because you kind of get the best of both worlds. You get the power, and then of course you get you know the towing capability, MPGs, the spooling. This turbo right here will spool up a lot quicker than my 68 will. But my 68, of course, pulls like a freight train on the top end. So we're gonna go ahead and put this to the side. The color that we're gonna go on this cover here is going to be white. So this is gonna be pretty interesting. I think that should be good. Professional, look at that. All right, here we go. When you pull the trigger, you want to have that foot pedal down. That might be way too high. We're going to lower that PSI a little bit, but that's how you do it. And you ground it, and I grounded it back here, but there's a little clip. Put it on the back here. When I actually go to start spraying, it's static, so the powder's going to stick. Well, here goes nothing. Yeah, I think that's a little too fast. Too much. 
I guess I'll just hold it right here because this wouldn't really matter. Like that. I guess I'll just put it right on the rack. I don't need to hang it in there. Go 350 and I'll bake it for 30 minutes. I think that should be plenty of time. And I'll go ahead and pull it out. Right, so we're going to go ahead and set our Easy Bake Oven to... Let's go with 30 minutes. Look at this. This is crazy. I didn't realize how much powder would actually get all over the ground. So I'm going to have to clean all that up. But luckily I have it sort of contained inside this little box. That's kind of nice. Alright guys, it's finished. I went ahead and unplugged the stove. It's sitting in there. I haven't even peeked. I haven't even looked yet. So, let's do this. <laughs> this wow. I was seriously thinking about the stove in the house, but I heard it was a big no-no to do that. And I'm sure Mrs. Truckmaster would not like me. Oh. oh man, maybe I should have put a little more powder on this though. Yeah. So this is crispy. I'll go ahead and let it cool down a little bit and then we'll go ahead and get back to this video guys. But just by looking at it already, I can tell there's some spots that are lighter than other spots. So I'm just learning. Luckily I'm just doing it to this because it's really not a big deal. On these Duramaxes, you put these turbo covers on, you can't even see them anyways. The only thing that you see really is just the top of the turbo. But I'll tell you what, when I actually lay down, I'm thinking, I'm thinking blue on this one right here. I'm not sure, this S369 right here. I'm thinking blue, but I'm gonna lay this down nice and thick because you're gonna see that. Say, not very happy with the results. So, I think what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just blast this off and redo it because I want this done right. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect because like I said, you're not gonna see it, but second guessing what I'm doing, it's now cooled down by the way. But in the thicker spots, it looks really good. It actually has a little bit of a gloss to it. It looks really nice. That's kind of what I'm hoping to do for this entire cover right here. So lessons learned guys. I think it's smart for me to slam this back on the turbo. I'm gonna go ahead and just clean this off, redo it. Next time I'm gonna go ahead and just coat this like big time. All right, painting is done. I'm gonna go ahead and take off the tape, wipe off all the excess stuff. And we'll put it on the rack, put it back in the oven. Hopefully this looks good. All right, here we go. Round two. You know, that looks a lot better. All right. Woo. Definitely a good call. I'm glad I did this a second go around. That looks a lot better than it did. You guys let me know in the comments, but I'm happy. So I'm gonna let this cool down. We're gonna go ahead and install it on the turbo later on here. I'm gonna let it sit for probably about 30 minutes. Actually, I'm gonna get that fan right on it. Let it cool down. So as we're waiting for that turbo cover to cool down, I wanted to talk really quick about the Cummins. You know that we can't get it out of first gear. That was the last word that we got. And I was telling you guys that it may be a linkage issue. And I think I'm onto something. Off camera, I went ahead and just readjusted it just a little bit to the transmission into the actual lever there. And now what we're going to do, guys, since we're waiting on this thing to cool anyways, is we're going to go ahead and take the Cummins outside, get it off the ground, and see if we can get this thing into second gear. So let's try that. <laughs> What I did is I just jacked it up in the back so the wheels were off the ground. I'm going to put it back in drive and see if it'll actually click into the next gear, but let's see what happens. I hope this works. thing is is that we're actually getting somewhere so it's not stuck in first gear it just takes a while for it to get to second so i got to figure out what's going on you know it very well could just be that the fluid still needs to get through the transmission i just got to drive it oh that's a pretty big deal i'm glad it's shifting
Here we go, guys. It's looking so much better. I'm actually really glad that I corrected the issues. Now, I didn't actually take the old powder coat off. I decided to go ahead and just spray right over it. I went ahead and just prepped it, put tape over it, sprayed it off, took the tape off, put it back in the oven. Made her down a lot thicker than last time. So I will know for next time. This is just a learning experience for me. It's my very first time. I'm sure a lot of you guys are watching this and thinking, can I do that? Yes. Anyone can do this. This is actually really simple. Is it worth a hundred bucks for this Harbor Freight powder coating gun? I say yes, if that's what you're doing. But next time I'm probably not gonna buy a powder coat from Harbor Freight ever again. So let's go ahead and get it on the turbo. <laughs> it looks so good. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and just put these bolts on off camera. Nice, looking good, looking good. Right, so what's your first reaction on this one? Looks pretty good, Earl, for your first time. I'm really glad that I went with the color white, and I think you guys are gonna see why. We are gonna do an unboxing video, so make sure you stay tuned for that. But I was thinking something kind of interesting. You've never driven the truck, ever. All right, get up in there. I have her, I have her buttoned up, guys. I have all the wiring done. I did have to uh, toggle a fuel shut off, so go for it. Uh-oh, what'd you oh. do? What'd you do? I gotta turn the fuel on. Oh, it's off? Mm -hmm. It's up. All right, go ahead. So down is on? Uh huh. Ah! you guys to let me know in the comments because i'm really thinking about this please help me out we talked about painting this truck i'm still going to do it of course we're doing all the body work and all that other stuff but now that i'm really really thinking about it considering raptor lining this entire truck now if i raptor line the entire truck it's going to be a color i'm not going to just go black i think it's going to look way too cheap going black i want to do like a high gloss bed lining color like the victory max that we did it was red the bottom of it was actually victory red and it was raptor lined and you couldn't even tell it looked like a full paint job but it had that really nice texture and it sort of looked glossy so guys let me know sky's the limit right now we have the red frame i'm really thinking battleship gray or something of that effect right there or black or a blue i'd love to go red but you guys would kill me in the comments one thing I'll tell you though, it does shift a lot better than it did. I think I'm I'm like kind of interested in the bed lining, the whole truck idea because if you're going to be using the dump bed to use it for like getting wood and dumping wood and dumping whatever rocks or wood chips, whatever you put in the bed, you know, you're not going to have to worry about anything scratching. Yes, especially the side of the bed over here. Yeah. Yep, good point. And this is a rest-free bed. I got a lot of the dings and dents out. I don't know, you guys probably couldn't tell. I didn't really show it, but the back of this right here was crunched in. The center right here was folded up. This side right here, we have a nice good punch right there, which I can pop out. We have a little bit of dings right there from my tractor because I wasn't paying attention. Um, and then, of course, right here on the bottom, I got to straighten out just a little bit. But overall, man, this box is in good shape. Right here? The, the, yeah, those two. Yep, messed that up. That was me. Look at that, Josh. Or Earl. And then, of course, this is the Texas cab, rust-free. Look at that. Looks good, doesn't it? All right, let's get back to the video. Well guys, I gotta say, I'm actually really impressed with how this turned out. And I'm excited to finally slap that in the LMM Duramax. You guys stay tuned because again, we're gonna do like a zero to 60 test, probably gonna do like a stock zero to 60, get on it. And maybe like set up a timer or something like that and then install the turbo and then do an after or something cool like that just to show you guys some of the gains. But uh, very exciting. I'll leave a link in the description if you guys wanna purchase any of his turbos, Brian's diesel service. Also, he did hook me up with that coupon code TRUCKMASTER. It actually works for HSP as well. Um, actually, a few other things. Kodiak Truck with their transfer cases. 
Hopefully this will help you guys out if you wanna build your diesel trucks. One thing I didn't show you guys on camera, I should have done it, I was just a little embarrassed. The trans cooler line, it's plumbed right here on the bottom, actually slipped off. And transmission fluid went all over the place, but you know, it's just my luck. Like I said, I will be doing a lot of powder coating under there. I'm gonna be fixing up the body. We're gonna get it painted. I'm really thinking about painting it myself here in the garage. I'm gonna make sure no overspray gets on these walls because yeah, that would be bad. This whole building is pretty much brand new right now. So I wanna keep these walls clean. I figured I'd share this experience with you guys because who knows, this might actually help somebody out. My first time doing it, I wasn't nervous. I wasn't worried one bit. The good thing about powder coating, in my opinion, is that you can always fix it. So if you mess it up, you can just blast it all off and then redo it. I gotta say though, I am a little bummed out because I don't think I'm gonna have enough time to get this Dodge ready for the Van Wert County Fair in Ohio. Cole Motors, a uh, really good buddy of mine actually, he's the one that's running this entire event. It's gonna be huge. They're gonna do dirt drags, they're gonna do sled poles, they're gonna do a burnout competition. I think they're even doing like monster truck rides. But what really piques my interest and the reason why I wanna go there is because I really, well, I wanted to bring this, but now I'm thinking about it. I think I'm gonna take the Wife Max my wife's Duramax, the LB7. It's the most powerful diesel that we have right now. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and hook a sled up to it and pull and see what happens. That's it for this video today. Thank you so much for watching until the very end. Again, make sure you subscribe to my other YouTube channel. And if you're interested in picking up one of those sweet limited edition truck master shirts, definitely pick one up. I'll even set a coupon code in there. Just type it in, you'll save yourself 10%. And I will personally ship every one of these shirts off. So that's all the time that we have for today. We'll see you on the next video. Stay tuned.